performing the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. <laughs> Can roll away. Hey, everybody. This is Digby. I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. And today we are back, carrying on with, well, where we left off on Superliminal, which was to you a week ago, and, or less you know i might do a couple of these this week just for fun but anyway to you it's been a bit of time to me it's been no time at all that being said all right the elevator is meant to wake me up can i put the stuff in the elevator because i really want goodies with me not that i'm superstitious or suspicious but i am i know how this game is working now so i'm not going to trust it at all you never know when you might need some things we will have all of the things. Seize the day. None of you are showing up in that... Oh. Are we going to get loading bar weirdness again? Nope, that one was seen. Oh, okay, woke me up. <laughs> uh, now it's 4 a.m. I'm back where I started, weren't I? Yes. Sweet B, sweet F, sweet Fanny Adams. Okay, well. Just because we did that last time, I'm going to do it again. Has anything changed this time? Well, we can grab a different kind of soda. What have we done? We've done red soda, random soda, baking soda, mini soda. <laughs> what do you suppose mini soda says on it? Oh, whoops. That's to make it smaller. I want you bigger. I want you much bigger. I want you considerably bigger. I want to know what you say on your can. Can says... Don't know. Can't read it. Can I push it? No. Now let me drop it again. You're really not helping. There we go. I can pick it up this way. No, I cannot. Come on, I want to know what your soda can says. The North Star drink? Is that, that right? That can't be right. I wanted you kind of half off the table. There we go. The North Star drink, yes. Okay. Sorry about that little diversion. I am going to get completely distracted all of the time. <laughs> this is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Okay, is that what happened? That Just because I went down that one little side path where the soda machine was? Something down that way. It's getting closer. That does not look promising, does it? Huh, that's not so bad. Okay. Well, we're almost to the edge. It's not going to let me walk off the edge. Is that meant to be something? Oh, see what I mean about this game messing with your head? Now I feel like there's a patterns up here that I should be trying to make a picture out of. Well, I'll go the other way first to see what's there. Assuming I can get back out of here. Good check in. Alright, the sign says make dice. Not sure how I meant to do that. Okay, well, we will carry on regardless. I need to be up there because that's got the exit sign. So, something in here should be able to help me get out there. 
that is very trippy. Uh, perception is reality. Your friendly doctor, P.S., will get through this. <laughs> uh, wiring diagram. Electronic scheme. Hmm. Oh, I can't grab that. Ah, there is a die. Curators only. Well, that will help us get out of here. Assuming I got that big enough. Looks like I did. As we did last time. Thank you, you were coming with me. Can I pick that up as well? Nope. Just an empty thing. I don't know. Right, we'll get you all the way to the wall. Then we'll make you the right size. Then we will try desperately. Nope. Gotta be a wee bit smaller. And we will try desperately to jump on you. Crap. Come on. There we go. Is it enough, though? Yes, just bloody barely. Oh, wait a minute. There's something else in here, too. I didn't look around the corner. Did I? Oh, another die. No, well, I don't particularly need you right now, but... Good to know. Um... That's a half a die. <laughs> I did say I was going to be playing with dice in this one. Anybody want to make the things are getting dicey joke? You can if you want. I will not hold it against you. Oh, it's just so many little things to see and do. Symbolic meaning of brainwaves. Purchase request form. That's the how to start it page again. Hmm. Okay. Be careful. Grab that one. Can't grab that one. Aha! So that's kind of the way back, is it? Well, I can feel the edges of a puzzle getting ready to happen. Let's so shrink you down to a little bit more of a manageable size, just so I can see you properly. says don't do something over this way. I'm going to look up too, just in case. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> I think I figured out where I'm supposed to go next. Come on, you. Come with me. You as well. a die go, because I'm going to end up needing it. You watch. Alright, false alarms on this end. All red herrings. Down we go. I've got quite a collection of junk now. I've got this one. I've got a regular size one. And a half of one. I'm going to just kind of poke around the edges. Apologies, it's a little bit dark in here. It's quite dark for me as well. I have a grate. Ah, this looks Professional like... Professional tip. The average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun, lady. It doesn't sound fun at all. Uh, Alright, I'm going to hump all this crap out into the hallway. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back. Having needlessly carried all this crap over, I just noticed that was one of the Mothers Against Stuff bits. Alright, water soda. We got water soda. Water soda says... don't know. It moved it. What, what does water soda have for its little snarky comment? Don't be a fool, hydrate. <laughs> I'd love to, but you won't let me open any of them. I did pop that one in the first episode, but I don't know how I did it. Well, sorry guys. Okay, you are very weird looking. <laughs> 
Yeah. Right, just double check I can't grab any of those. I cannot. Alright, not sure what they did. I'll have you that size. Nope, that's not going to help because you're over here. I'll have you that size. I might be able to just get up to one. Nope. You're the right size, kinda. So you can just go there. And we'll zoop up here. I can't bring you with me, so sorry, guys. Employees only. Employees only. There's a door. And the way out. So, what was the point of dice down there? They're not there. They're <laughs> pretend dice. That's very mean game. Can I pick them up? Do they look like dice? Nope. Ah, game, you got me. You tricked me. I'm guessing the first pair was meant to look painted, and that pair was painted and meant to look real. Okay, what's real, what isn't? I have no idea anymore. I can get that... Oh, hello. Oh, I see. That must, symbol must mean I can pull it out. We'll push it in. Can I do that with this one as well? I can. I'm not sure what good it's doing me, but... Oh. Oh, is this going to be a puzzly thing where I have to hop, skip, and jump everywhere? Can I pick any of you up? How about down? Now let me pull this one over to here. Ah! Cool. Look at me go. Is that what I needed? Is that enough? It is just enough. Alright, that was out. Hmm. Yeah, well, we got it anyway. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal <laughs> suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. I'm apparently working on it, darling. So, let me see if we can find out. Oh god, now what? Well. <sighs> nope. Will you fall the correct way? No, no you won't. That's better. What happens to you if I pick you up? Same thing. Oh, I'm get stuck. I don't like being stuck. Even though, nope, you're an actual die I can do stuff with. No, you're not. <laughs> well, I definitely have enough blocks to play with now. Should I want them? Actually, I make you slightly bigger even. I got enough of these to go around, so... Whoa, that is a big dice. A big die. Uh, what about you? Anything over here? Nope. Private doesn't help. Is that the exit? Ah, yes. I think we found this exit. Let's find out. Okay. You know I gotta figure out what's on the other side of that picture. Right? Nope. It's not gonna let me. I get an out there. That says that's out. So this must be go get something cool to help you with the next puzzle. Oh, no. It's an elevator. You are here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the elevator is supposed to wake me up. I am kind of curious what's in there. I apparently fell from nowhere. It's not going to let me go up there, so I guess I'm never going to know. Let's just, I'm just checking really quick to see if there's anything I can pick up or play with or do stuff with. And then we'll head out the elevator. Exit sign? Nope. Okay, I give up. If it was important, I'm sure the game would let me do it. Danger Electroshock Hazard. Probably best not to play with that. Feeling lucky? 
Caliculus Casino and Amusements, open weekends. Okay, the loading bars are funny. <laughs> That it really? Day's done. Oh, we're at five a.m. All right, what did that lady say? It was gonna blow my head apart at th three to five dreams a night. Still nothing that way. All right, let the cycle continue. I guess that would have been if we'd done that as an episode just that day. It would have been a really quick one because we figured stuff out quite fast. So let's go. Oh, hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Okay, I genuinely don't. All right, what have we done? We haven't done diet and green. So, all right, can I just read what I say? Green soda just says green, and diet soda says made with real... Something. I can't read it. I thought I could. I can't. I take it back. I am sorry. Alright, drop and let me know what you say. It says... Smooth. Okay. I'm bringing it with me just in case, because you never know. I'm kind of curious. What happens if I jump on this? Can I log roll on it? Really? No. Game says, don't do that. Alrighty. Well, you're here if I need you. Right, pay attention. No. Um. Okay. Well, that wasn't nice. Alright, red light, not helping. Game. That, that didn't help at all. You just made it even creepier, is what you've done. Notice, emergency generator this way. Well, now. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to put a seizure warning on this. It does contain flashing lights. So we'll do the dinghy bell thing. You'll have heard it earlier, and I think it's safe now. Assuming I remember to do all that. Uh, is that... Okay, bloody handprints. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. I was wondering if it was going to let me bonk it on the thing, but it's not. Aren't you generated this way? Let's just... I was gonna say, let's get out of the creepy bit, but... Not nice game. Not nice. You gonna do this all the time. Like, if I go through here this way, are you gonna slam shut? You gonna wait till I'm not looking. Monday murder, 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 murder. <laughs> Sunday beans. Hmm. That's confidence inspiring. What can we grab? Anything? What can we do? Is this the mind implosion thing you were warning me about? Well, the music's gone all ominous. I can't grab that. Murder. <laughs> Anything anywhere. This is worse than the long dark. I jump on you. Nope. Okay, I had to try. Can do anything with the door. I have no flashlight. How about the floor? Is there anything on the floor we can pick up? I was hoping they'd hide a hole in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? 
when in doubt, go look sideways. Anything on this side as well? There is. This one looks more like a dead end, but at least we know where we are now. And it is a dead end. Okay. Wait a minute. That was that where I came in? No, that's where I came in. What about this way? Are you also a dead end? Tell me that's diet, so it is. That's cute that as you come up it just says die, 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 die. <laughs> that's an exity door. Now do I want to go back? Yeah, let's go back and explore the other route just to see what's down that way. Because now I'm curious. It should be out. There's over. There's over. As I say, we're orientated or oriented now. I know where we're going. I know orientated is correct. It's just one of those words that always sounds like it's wrong. No. Same deal. Okay, so it's the same thing both sides. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. In fact, it looks like it's the exact same room. Oh. Good. Not nice game. Okay, well, the emergency generator is that way. We're still on full beans for Sunday. Now, you're gonna slam behind me in a really weird and scary and creepy way. Oh. Shit. <laughs> ah. This is getting slightly more disconcerting, but it is a dream. Oh, wait a minute. This is where we just went. Right? Yes. This is where we were before. So this is just a loop. Now, I know the game probably wants me to just walk around it, so I'm curious to see if it loops around. It does. Okay, how big was it? I sort of wasn't paying attention. I'll go as far over this way as I can go. Okay, there's the edge of the hole. Nope, fell in. <laughs> and if we go as far on this side as we can... Also gonna fall in the hole. Run and jump? Is that an option? It is. Ah, shit, it's a double jump. <laughs> okay, hang on, hope for the best. Nope, missed it. Well, maybe I meant to walk off the edge of the walkway. God damn it! <laughs> okay, carefully and paying attention this time. Still not ended, still not ended. Aha! There we go. Oh, I can see again. Well, that was wretched. Another hole in the floor? We're gonna go slow but sure here now. Oh, thank God, Dr. Pierce. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Yeah, you know what? You're not helping. You are seriously damaging my calm. God sakes, cats. Apologize for the background noise. The cats are being particularly frisky today. Okay. Can't grab it. It's just a chess piece. It's all good. Can't touch any of those. I wonder if it, we picked that diet soda and brought it with us. I wonder if that would have been a different case as a soda. Probably not, because I suspect the dye joke was where they were going with that. All right, we're still looking for the generator room. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes, really? Every time I walk through one forwards, it slams behind me. I walk through it backwards, nothing. Okay, let's get perspective. Oh, I see a chess piece be a no. How far back can I go? Now I see an arrow telling me to go this way. And stairs. Excellent. 
Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to brighten this episode up for everybody, because this is getting seriously dark. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Okay, I always keep waiting for them to say more and they never do. That's right. Well, if this is my fault, so be it. It's very red. Ah, boards. I remember from the first episode, we could pull boards off the wall. We cannot, but hey, we got a light. That'll help. Is that gonna help me see anything, is the question. It's not much of a light. That's why we came in. You can't go through there, so... I guess we're stuck in here. We must have to figure out how to get the boards off. Well, I'm gonna put you over here so I can see what I'm doing. At least for now. Nothing I can do with the nails, apparently. Yeah, I don't trust shadows either. Is this one of those where if I make it like really big it'll fall and knock boards apart? Oh, I want to be really, really big. That's a no. Definitely brightening up my day. make it little again because I didn't do much of anything for me. You didn't tear the boards off, which is what I was hoping you would do. Let's see if there's anything over here that makes any sense. Nope, the puzzles definitely get the boards off. Well, what about the other end? Can, well, I tell you what, let's... Actually, let's look behind it. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's sort of dual-sided. Let's get it nice and big so we can see what the hell we're doing. Let's have a quick exam of these boards. That would be a no. Anything else I can grab in here besides that sign? Also a no. And there's no sideways trickery in this one, so it's not going to let me do that. Well, now. Sorry, I went all silent there for a second. I'm thinking. Oh, can I just make you bigger from there? That would be brilliant. I can make you littler. I want you to be bigger. But halfway through. No! I feel like I'm onto something here, but I'm not quite getting it. I have to make you bigger out there. And then bring you back in. Hmm. Whoops. Oh, crap. Where'd you go? Uh, Alright, well, I'm getting close to half an hour, so I'm going to leave this one here, I think. And hopefully, in the next episode, we will figure out what the hell we're doing wrong. And if I have to, I'll actually just start the next episode. I'll actually just finish the puzzle and start the episode from finding a freaking solution. But, alright, as always, I have been Digby. I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you for the next one.